Hello, this is Dan from Dangold Media. Welcome to Singapore. Well, just flying into Changi Airport at the moment. Unfortunately, it's raining, but the good news is because it's so warm here, within 20 minutes of heavy rain, it's perfectly dry. As you leave the airport behind you and make your way into town, you'll notice the imposing skyline and the enormous Singapore flyer, which is next to where the start-finish straight is for the Formula One race. You have to check out Chinatown. There's everything for sale under the sun. One of the beauties of Singapore is the difference in architecture, the old preserved buildings, and then the ultra-modern new ones, which we'll see later in this video. According to Wikipedia, which, let's face it, is never wrong, Singapore derives its name from the Malay Singapura, which means Lion City. Hence, around the place, you see one or two lions. I don't mind telling you that I am petrified when it comes to heights. The Singapore Flyer is 42 stories high, which is around about 165 meters uh, from bottom to top. It is massive. And just to give you some context on this, it's 30 meters taller than the London Eye. The view up here is sensational. But one thing you can't see on the video is that most of the time I sat down in the middle because if I went too close to the edge, my legs really did turn to jelly. As I mentioned earlier, the start-finish straight for the Singapore Grand Prix is right next to the flyer, including going around the first corner and the first straight. It's incredible. Seeing them packing down, this video is shot about two weeks after the Grand Prix has taken place, and it's taken them months to put it together, and it will take them months to take it apart as well. All for one weekend. But I tell you what, it is worth it. Singapore is a very picturesque place. You've got a mixture of countryside, beaches, and a more metropolitan look, and it makes for a very popular location to make films and things like music videos. Now, if you're a foodie like me, you will not be disappointed. There is such a variety of food available, but I'll tell you what, check out some of the local cuisine. It's beautiful. Now, what I haven't shown on this video are places like Sentosa Island, which includes Universal Studios theme park and all the other attractions around there. But I would say check it out. Specifically, at night, you've got these beautiful boulevards, which have got retail and restaurants on them. Very classy, very like Regent Street in the level of stores that you've got. But they've got that ultra modern look with all the glass and the lighting to catch your attention. Thank you for watching this video. There's plenty more at youtube.com forward slash dangoldmedia.